racist, sexist, anti-gay, Ron DeSantis, go away! These were the scenes on college campuses across Florida today. Students walked out protesting Republican Governor Ron DeSantis's policies targeting the LGBTQ community and students of color. They're pushing back on the governor's plans to ban initiatives focused on diversity and equity and to restrict courses dealing with race. The walkout was planned after Governor DeSantis asked public universities in the state to turn over the health care information of transgender students, including how many students sought or received treatment for gender dysphoria and their ages. It is unclear why he needs that information. Students who walked out of the University of South Florida in Tampa held signs that read, Protect Our Trans Siblings and Black Lives Matter. These are students at Florida International University in Miami, and you can hear them chant, let teachers teach. It wasn't just students today either. Democratic State Representative Anna Eskimani joined the demonstration at Florida State University in Tallahassee. Governor DeSantis, of course, is one of the top generals in the right-wing culture wars, declaring Florida as the state where woke goes to die. And so Florida has become ground zero for the rights attacks on education, and we've been seeing it all play out in schools like New College of Florida, which is in Sarasota. And that's where the president of the Public Liberal Arts College was recently forced out by a board of trustees full of DeSantis appointees, including right-wing activist Chris Rufo, who made a name for himself in conservative circles with his crusade against critical race theory. I will be heading down to New College to talk to students and educators as they deal with the effects of DeSantis's policies, and we will be bringing you a special report next week.